Hello, friends, family, and strangers. This is Rob from CryptosandTokens.com bringing you another educational video. And this time it's all about Cardano and the ADA wallet. All right, we have NAMI wallet, which is a alternative, an alternative solution and way for you to store all your Cardano native assets, whether it be NFTs, tokens, you name it onto a client side uh, wallet. So I have the website here. The URL will be in the description for you to quickly access. And the important thing to notice is this is a browser extension, non-custodial, and doesn't download the full uh, blockchain uh, data. So it's not acting as a node. And for those of you using the dataless wallet, may know that it takes quite a while to sync up, download, and etc. And that's because the resources needed are, you know, intense. So uh, a client side wallet doesn't need all that information. So you do sacrifice some security and, you know, there's a lot of pros and cons to both. So before you make your decision, if you'll be using the Navi wallet, read through the FAQs and that will give you some uh, guidance and sense. So much like other plugins, you have a few browsers that are available and ready. So I do have the Chrome browser here, which I will set up and guide you through. Okay, I'm going to quickly add this to Chrome. So what's installed, you'll have an icon here, and sometimes you'll need to pin or allow the plugin. So this is uh, first time setting up, and if this is your first time, you'll click new wallet. For those who have a different wallet and would like to import their wallet in order to use the NAMI wallet, you'll click the import, and that'll take you through the procedure to uh, have the recovery seed on hand and readily available. So if you have a recovery seed, uh, most likely you can use this function. But we're gonna focus on a new wallet. Okay, this is just saying, hey, are you secure? Nobody's watching. And once you go through this process here, you'll, uh, want to write these down put them somewhere safe and the next uh, step will be to confirm okay and then once you're done with that okay once you're done with that as i mentioned you'll create your account here and this is any name you would call it test nami wallet set up a password here Okay. And boom, you're all set. We can close the browser uh, extension here, and that's it. So once you're set up, you'll see a wallet much like this. I'm going to flip back to my um, browser, uh, Brave browser, which I already have it set up on. All right, and there you go. So you can see something similar to this with your native token assets. These are gonna be your tokens and other um, assets. Your GameFi, collectibles, NFTs, etc. And you'll, you know, you'll see your transactions. Uh, the cool thing about this wallet is you can quickly delegate to the Berry stake pool and earn about 5% our rewards per year, which is nice. So instead of having your ADA do nothing, you could put it to work. And a couple uh, quick buttons, you know, receive, send, that's all rudimentary. You can add an address 
a snake handle, etc. Okay, and a couple options here in settings for you to review whether you're developing on Cardano or not. You can enter um, the test net mode. You can add some whitelisted sites for you to feel secure and avoid phishing and scams and a few other general settings for you to customize within your environment. So that's pretty much it. Uh, this is just a quick way to access and interact with Cardano without having to utilize the full node wallet, which is the data. And hopefully this will make your life easier. So if you have any questions, post it in the uh, comments below. We'll review and help you navigate through this bearish times for you to um, become more aware and educate yourself. All right. Thank you. Have a good one.